Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 24th, and uh, I'm down here at Mom's, uh, down here to talk about the Down Home Fall Garden. Uh, just walking around out here, uh, really fall is starting to take effect. Uh, I'm in an actual long sleeve shirt here today. Um, feels pretty good out here. Starting to get a little bit of leaves turning, um, at least on the dogwoods and um, stuff like that. Uh, getting our sycamores, it's already pretty much lost the, most of its leaves. Um, so fall is coming. I see some different colors, different places. Um, so we will uh, enjoy the fall as it gets here. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I like the cool. I don't really like the cold. So not not a big fan of winter, but I do like fall. Um, so you guess you gotta take what you get though when you live in an area where you get a little bit of winter weather. Uh, okay, well, let's talk about what we're gonna do today. Um, Kathy had, um, she had potted up some of the um, volunteer uh, tomatoes at home um, so she had some that was left over and we said well we probably don't have enough time for them to to make it but at least we'll give them a chance so I'm gonna I'm stick them in the ground today um, along with uh, some mustard seed um, mustard here at mom's looks good it's just to me it's not it's not, a, not enough of them so we're gonna we're gonna um, do something with those as far as what's going on with the garden currently, uh, the collards are really looking good. Um, got a got a bunch of them. Um, I think these are maybe a week to ten days behind uh, the ones we have at home, but they are still looking good. We'll probably fertilize them today. Uh, same with the cabbage; uh, they're also looking good. Um, not as good as the collards. Uh, but uh, we'll definitely we'll we'll start working on those today, get them fertilized. Um, mustard again, like I said, it looks good. It's just not very many of them, so they're not. Um, uh, I'm I'm gonna plant a little bit more. I'm gonna go down on the end of this row and start stringing some out. Squashes, uh, the ones that remain, they still look good. And um, if we look here at our biggest squash, it's um. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a it's got a little squash on the bush. So uh, it's getting ready to produce. I'm sure Mom will appreciate some uh, some squash this late in the year. Um, like I said about the watermelons, they're going. I'm gonna hoe those up, and that's probably where I'm gonna put those um, tomato plants. Some of the volunteers that we had here that um, that came up here at Mom's. At the down home garden I planted them but they really haven't haven't grown at all um, not sure they just look kind of bad look kind of peaked um, the potatoes on the other hand what's here especially the ones that we had um, did from cuttings uh, they look good um, so <laughs> we got two, two potato plants that look really good there uh, I got the one from the seed that looks good. The other one looks kind of spindly. I'm not sure if it's going to really make it. But this was more just an experiment anyway. So um, we'll plant more potatoes um, as we come into spring. So, um, well, that, that I think is about all I have for the moment. Um, I might show a little bit about what I do with them. Um, planting this other stuff but we'll see um well thank you for your time uh, appreciate everybody that watches the videos appreciate those that are subscribing if you um, haven't subscribed please do so if you like what we're doing um hit that like button if uh you got some comments on what we're doing we appreciate the comments so thank you and um talk to you later